Hello students, today I am going to show you how to use digital archives um, of newspapers to do your research. So today um, we are going to go on Google and we're going to type in Library of Congress. This is a really good site for, doing, for finding a lot of good primary sources. Um, which you know I love primary sources. Okay, so we type on the first one that comes up, Library of Congress Home, and then we get this great thing of collection highlights. So these are some of the different kinds of primary sources that you can use. Remember, you can use pictures and different things, but we're going to be focusing on newspapers. So click on the newspaper one, and let's say you wanted to find out Utah's perspective on World War I. So this is how you do it. I'm going to do just a basic search. You could do an advanced search, but sometimes the website gets a little buggy when you go there. So I just like to do it basic. I can usually find what I want that way. So I go down to Utah. Um, and we know that World War II, or sorry, World War I, World War I started in 1914. However, the United States didn't join until 1917. I want to focus on Utah's reaction to when the United States actually joined the war. So I go down to 1917, and I really just want things that happened in that particular year. And then the search terms I'm going to put in, because we're looking for newspapers, um, that are focusing on this topic, so they'll probably say words like war and Europe and oh, Europe, yes, war and Europe. Um, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit go, and then I'm kind of looking through these. One of the things you're going to want to look at are the dates, which you can find down here. That's going to be important because um, the depending on the date, we want to make sure that we're going in when when it's actually relevant. You don't want to go in before the before the United States actually entered the war or too far after because then the newspaper may not be as relevant. Now I'm thinking, hmm, and you're probably going, gosh, all those dates, I can't remember dates, they're so hard, and I'm actually trying to remember too. So I'm going to say, when did the United States enter World War One? So I'm just typing that in real quick just to find the answer because I can't remember. Oh, I get this big thing that pops up April 6, 1917. I'm going to check a more reliable source just in case. Yep, April 6, 1917. Okay, so I'm closing out of that, but going back to where I was. So we're going to want something probably in April in 1917. And oh, look at that. The very first one that popped up says right there, April 21st, 1917. This is probably going to talk about the war. So I click on it. And you can read through it. You can actually zoom in, but you got to be really careful because sometimes it'll go woo way too close that so you don't want it. So just you kind of scroll to do that. All right. And so if you read it, um, you can kind of read through. And as I'm looking, it says, "Oh, this is actually really interesting because it's talking about how the war is going to impact the economy of Utah." Um, and so that's a really important thing. We're actually getting Utah's perspective with this newspaper. That's really cool. And what's even more fun is right here, you've got a, um, a little poem that somebody wrote about a cowboy going to war. So all of those things you can use um, as you're writing your paper about World War I or whatever it's on. This would be on Utah's perspective in World War I. And so, okay, let's say I want to use this. This is a good source to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm see this button that says PDF. I'll click on that button and it's going to just take its time and then it will load this maybe. Okay so here's your here's the PDF version and you go down to this button that says save right there but it's got a little floppy disk which you probably don't even know what that is. You click on it I'm waiting for, um, they're going to set up Google Fiber in this house, but until they do, I still have slow internet. Okay, and so then I'm going to just type in Utah newspaper World War I. World War, like that. And I'm just going to save it on the desktop for now because that's easier. So I hit save, and then if I look on my desktop, whoop, there it is. Um, it's right there, just popped up right there.
and then you can use that um, and you can refer to it whenever you want without having to go through that whole process of finding it again. So you can continue looking through all of these cool newspapers to find exactly what you're looking for as primary sources. So I hope that was helpful.